South African Rally Championship is proudly presented by Motorsport South Africa and its partners, Toyota, Volkswagen, Ford, Cecil and Dunlop. This is what it's all about. Dirt, dust, mud, rocks and all kinds of obstacles that make driving a 200 kilowatt thoroughbred rally machine over rough and uncharted terrain even more challenging. This is the South African Rally Championship. It is of course 2015 which means that yet another chapter in this adventure which started more than half a century ago is about to be written. But before we try and predict the future, let's bring you up to speed with the past. The traditional battle between age-old South African rivals Toyota and Volkswagen had in recent years turned into a three-way fight when drivers representing the Blue Oval decided to join the wall. In fact, Mark Cornier behind the wheel of a Ford Fiesta was crown champion in both 2012 and 2013. So when the 2014 title chase got underway, Cronier was the clear-cut favourite. But the season quickly proved highly successful for Toyota's Leroy Poulter, who managed to get a jump on the competition with a few early victories. Cronier fought back with a number of wins of his own, but in the end, Poulter was just too strong claiming one of South Africa's most coveted motorsport titles in the process. Volkswagen ended the season strongly with their Dutch driver Hans Weiss taking the final victory of the year and ending in second position on the points ladder. But that is yesterday's news. And with the start of the much-anticipated 2015 South African Rally Championship now only days away, all motorsport eyes will be on the new fight. And the more things change, the more they stay the same. There will be new drivers and new navigators and new cars and new teams taking on a few new events. But one thing will remain, and that is the intensity of the battle between Toyota, Volkswagen and Ford. As the current and defending champions, the bulk of the pressure will no doubt be on the Castrol Toyota team, and more specifically, on the shoulders of Leroy Poulter. Poulter has won many South African and even world motorsport titles, but lifting the trophy for winning the 2014 South African Rally Championship was probably his proudest moment. Well, I think it's probably one of the most difficult uh, series that I've ever been involved in. You know, I've done the karting and I've been in production cars and, and uh, other forms of circuit racing. And this is just, it's, it, there's a lot of things against you. So to win it at the end of the day was a massive uh, you know, gain for me and, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. The place of work for Polter will once again be the cockpit of the Castrol Toyota Yaris developed and built right here at the Hall Speed facility in Midrand. The car developed a little bit more over the year and uh, during this year we will be uh, developing it some more in very specific areas. The trouble is that when you start getting to the top of the performance curve as it is, it's very, very difficult to find those uh, bit extra. As they say, the taste of victory is an addictive one. So Poulter will once again team up with his champion navigator Alvin Kutsia to read the notes. You know, we've, we've had now four years together. We've uh, learnt a lot and we, we kind of know each other really well. So definitely we'll be together and uh, we'll try to push for another championship. So the Poulter and Toyota Yaris combination is a good one. But will it be good enough to be victorious in 2015? Well, obviously, we, uh, we're going to give it our best. You know, we've got a good car, a good team. From the Toyota Motorsport base in Midran, it's off to the Eastern Cape and the home of Volkswagen, more specifically, the automotive giant's motorsport division in Utenag. 
This is where the latest version of the Volkswagen Sassel Racing Polo S2000 rally car has been developed over the past few years. The Volkswagen Sassel Racing team developed this car in 2011 and it went to competition in 2012. Over the last few years we've done a lot of development and more over the off season, so we will start the season really strongly. The team's hard work and dedication is finally starting to show dividends as the Volkswagen Sassel Racing team ended 2014 on a high when Dutch and Belgian duo of Hans Weiss and Bjorn de Gunt sprayed the champagne from the top step of the podium. It may have been the team's only victory of the season, but it bodes well for 2015. Hans and Bjorn ended the season really solidly with a victory in Bella Bella. Um, it was a great result for the team and for them, um, and I'm sure that uh, this year we'll be challenging for many more. The team's driver lineup for 2015 will be very similar, with Hans Weiss and Bjorn de Gun scheduled to fly out to South Africa for each of the eight rounds that will make up the 2015 championship. Weiss has proved to be one quick driver, and Volkswagen will have high hopes for him to challenge for a title. Perhaps even quicker than Weiss is Volkswagen's young gun Henk Lantegan. The young man is only 20 years old, but already has more than two seasons at the top level under his belt, as well as a few outings in Europe. Yeah, we just came back from Monte Carlo, uh, extremely difficult event, really tricky. Um, I think that will help me for the rest of the South African season. Um, I think Monty throws everything at you that anybody could ever throw at you, so I think we'll be prepared. The youngster has loads of talent and raw speed, so Volkswagen's plans will no doubt require him and co-driver Barry White to bring in the results in 2015. Yeah, and I think this season we'll, we'll also start trying, trying to get a few better results, maybe one or two wins if we can. Um, just put in maximum effort and try to try get our first win. The team from Utenag will again field three cars in the Premier S2000 class. Popular driver and the fastest brother in Africa, as Gugu Zulu is affectionately known, will return for yet another season. But this time with a former champion navigator in the form of Pierre Addis reading the notes. There is no doubt that the Volkswagen team knows how to win. So, will they do it again in 2015? The Volkswagen team knows definitely not how to win. We won six championships from 2005 to 2010. We've had a lean patch, we bounced back last year to second in the championship. We believe we have the, all the right ingredients now, and I'm sure we'll challenge for the championship and we will win right. And speaking of winning, someone who knows all about it is former double champion Mark Cronier in his trademark number 24 Ford Fiesta. It is more than fair to say that Cronier dominated both the 2012 and especially 2013 seasons, winning as many as seven out of eight events in one year. But luck was not quite on his side in 2014. It's just one of those years that just nothing would go right. We had a number of punctures, uh, some small technical issues, and it really put us on the back foot towards the end of the year. And I think we still have the package, and I think we've got a, we've got a great team behind us. Um, and I think we'll pick up the pieces and, and definitely uh, look up our way forward. The number 24 Ford Racing Fiesta received a good overhaul during the off-season. And with the help of Ford Motor Company and Cronier's own sponsors, the former champion will be more than ready to take up the fight once again. Uh, leading up uh, with the car, I mean, we've really done a lot of work in the off-season. We've uh, identified some small issues from last year, and I think we've uh, going in with a positive outlook for the year. So we're definitely going to take the fight back to Toyota and VW, and I'm most certainly not going to let it uh, slip this year. And Cronier will not be the only one flying the Ford flag, as businessman Yabi van Nikark will return behind the wheel of his new Africa Developments Ford Fiesta. Van is as quick as anyone on any given day, and with just a little luck going his way, he will be a contender for many rally victories during the season. And to add to his chances, Van Nikark acquired the services of the very experienced Irish co-driver Gordon Noble, who will make the trip to sunny South Africa for each of the eight events. After the break, we look at the different types of machinery that will take on the 2015 South African Rally Championship and we give a glimpse of the eight different battlefields that they will encounter along the way.